On this Linux Gamecast How To, we're installing Skyrim. Now, if you're thinking that buying the DVD is going to save you from installing Steam, uh, the first update to Skyrim has locked it into Steam permanently. So, and unless you want this really nifty map, you might as well just download it, if you don't mind the 5 gigabyte download. Now, that said, this how-to will cover upgrading one, installing Steam, and adding the bits necessary for Skyrim to run under Ubuntu 1104 LTS. We should also work with Mint and other derivatives of Ubuntu. Okay, let's go. The first thing we need to do is update Wine. So do a Google search for Wine PPA. Should be your first result. We'll head over to the Launchpad site. Basically, we're going to enter that into Synaptic. So let's go ahead and open up the Package Manager. Key in my password. I'm going to check what version of Wine I have, which is 1.3.15. This PPA contains 1.3.3.3. So let's copy the... Package List and... Go to Settings, Repository, Other Software, Add, and paste that in. Add Source, Close Out. Now Reload. You'll see Wine, Wine Tricks, and Gecko, all available for upgrade. Right click, and select. Now Apply. Click Apply. Take a moment. And we're done with that part. We'll close that out. And we'll close out the browser. We need to open a terminal. Now we're going to install Steam by running Wine Tricks Steam. And just follow the prompts. Agree. Next. Cable selection. Language. Default location. Click finish. And Steam's going to take a moment to update. I already have an account, but you can also create one from here if you don't. I'm going to go ahead and log in. Okay, now, if you don't have the DVD, you can just click install, but since I do, I'm going to Games, Add Non-Steam Game, and I'm going to select Skyrim DVD, Mounted in Media, CD-ROM, and Setup EXE. Just click Add Selected Program, and go down to Setup, and Play. This will allow you to skip the 5 gigabyte download. Accept. Install. And next, this is going to take a moment. Okay. Don't need to see the library. Finish. And we'll come up here. If you click play, it's going to have to download a patch. Followed by Microsoft Direct X, which installs fine.
that Microsoft VC redistributed. And here's where it hangs. We're going to install .NET later, so close and exit out of Steam. If you get an error, you can ignore it. Just close that out. Now, I'm going to kill the wine server, which is just wine server space minus K9. I'm going to run wine tricks. Now select your Steam. From here, we're going to install the DLL components. We need two things. The first one being .NET 2.0. And if I can find it... Ah, VC Run 2008. Also make sure XACT is checked. Click OK. Click Next. Accept. Install. Finish, and Visual C++ accept install. Now we can just close out. Let's exit the terminal, and launch Steam. bit of an advertisement. Let's close that out. And click play. It'll try to do the .NET, but as you can see, it'll cancel itself out. Then it's going to check your video hardware. The GTX 450. Setting on medium for some reason. Anti-lacing prevents the game from playing. You can figure out what settings work best. But just click play. And have fun.